Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sewn. Today we are going to be continuing finding out key features of some graphs, specifically intervals of increasing and decreasing, as well as intervals that the graph is positive and negative. And this one's a tough one, so let's get into it. All right, so yesterday, or on a different video, felt like yesterday to me, because it was, we did the domain and range of these. See, there's the answer key. Take a screenshot if you're interested. But there's another video showing you how to get it. But I'm gonna use these same graphs to figure out when is the graph going to be going up and when is it going down, which is increasing and de decreasing. And then when is it positive and negative? So when you are talking about increasing or decreasing, I want you to think like a roller coaster. When are you going down and having a good time? And when are you going up and maybe freaking out because you got to come back down? That is increasing and decreasing on a roller coaster from left to right. Whereas if it's positive and negative, I want you to think like a submarine. Specifically a submarine that can be above water and then maybe fly out of the water or below water. Okay. So we're going to think like that, and that will help us when we're determining what is going on. So here we go. We have this graph. We're going to start with the increasing and decreasing where it is on a roller coaster. We are going down first. Woo! We're going down up until this moment, which is at two. That is the time in which we stop going down and then start going back up. So for this one, for number one, it is decreasing from negative two to positive two. Parentheses and probably a bracket around the negative two because it was filled in. And I'm saying from negative two seconds up until two seconds. So you can think of it as in time. And then at two seconds, I'm not including it because we're not increasing or decreasing there. We're actually staying constant. But we are increasing from here all the way forever to the right forever. So we are increasing from that two, that time of two. We're going up this roller coaster from two to the end of our days. Positive infinity. Not included, not included. Okay? Versus if we're talking about positive and negative, we think like a submarine. When are we above the water? When are we below the water? And I'm actually going to start with the negative because we're below the water from here to here, which looks like negative 1.5. 5.5 so that is when we were below the water on that interval that's when we like dip down and then swam back up okay so we are negative from negative 1.5 to 5.5 not included not including because at that moment we're breaching the water we're not negative nor positive we are, we're just at water level we are positive on two intervals. We are positive from negative 2 to negative 1.5. That is when we are above the water, we jumped off whoosh, and then splashed down at from negative 2, including the negative 2, excuse me, to negative 1.5. But that was just this chunk, right? We also are positive over here. So we also need to include it with a union, a union, and we are also positive from 5.5 to infinity because we're above the water from that point. So from 5.5 to positive infinity, and it doesn't include the 5.5, 5.5, because that moment we were neither above nor below, but it did include the negative two because that point has a bracket because it was solid circle filled in. Okay, we're going to do probably just one more of this, um, and that's going to be not number two, I think. I think we should do, hmm, let's see. Well, number two looks the best, so I'm going to do number two. 
It's not great for positive and negative, but it is good for some other things. So here we go. When are we increasing? When are we decreasing? And let's go from there. So we are increasing on this little chunk. We're having a great time on a roller coaster. We're going up. We're getting ready. Uh, from negative 2 to the top, which looks like it's at 2. So that's convenient. The exact same answer as last time. Include the negative 2 and do not include the positive 2 because that moment we're like weightless. We're about to fly down the mountain. But we're also increasing again right here at 12 because we start going back up this roller coaster. So and... 12 to positive infinity because it's going to we're going up forever what about decreasing well we only have one little spat where we're decreasing here and that was from here to here from 2 to 12 so not including 2 not including 12 because that the 2 and the 12 you could say it's constant so sometimes you might have to say constant which would be at two, and they might do it as like the set notation, and 12, where it's neither going up nor down. All right, so that was increasing and decreasing. What about positive versus negative? Well, that one's a little weird because even though this goes up and down, does it ever get to being below the ground or below the water? The answer is no, it doesn't. So that would be not happening. The empty set, perhaps. Versus when it's, when's it positive? Well, it's positive almost always. The, the graph and its entity is always positive. It's always above the water. But, but it doesn't start until we reach negative 2. So even though it is positive for its entire life, the graph itself only began at negative 2. So it was above the water from negative 2 to infinity, which is also, conveniently, the domain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And bracket around the negative 2 because it can equal it. Okay? So that's going to do it for this episode. There's probably going to be another one where I just talk about everything and combine them because I do think that there is merit to seeing everything put together. But until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye.